Hi, this is your host Sapan Bhartia and welcome to TFR Insights. And today we have with us Rahul Pradhan, Head of Cloud Products and Engineering at Cloudbase. Rahul, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me on Sapan, great to be here. As we all know, cloud adoption is growing by leaps and bounds, which is also kind of accelerating the already growing challenge of gap in supply and demand of cloud native skills. What have you seen in the real world is there really a shortage? Yeah, no, I think uh, this is a great conversation. Uh, there's absolutely a shorter shortage of skills uh, with regards to uh, cloud, uh, cloud knowledge and, and the know-how. Uh, and this has uh, probably been exacerbated significantly uh, with the pandemic over the last couple of years. The pace of innovation has certainly gone up and businesses are recognizing the fact that they need to adopt, be more agile to the needs of the uh, needs of the customer with unforeseen circumstances coming in. And this applies not just to the customers, this also applies to their employees. So people are remote. So, so that means being closer to pe where people are uh, from a digital experience perspective becomes really important. So if you look at what that really means from for a technology is how do you make sure that you are providing the kind of digital experiences your customers and your employees are expecting uh, via, via your business and via the applications you're delivering to them? Uh, and a lot of that falls on adoption of new cloud technologies to be able to do that, to adopt some of the, uh, some of the innovations that have been going on on, on on the cloud for several years now, and then expanding into, into edge computing, into some of the emerging technologies with 5G, uh, it becomes critically important for businesses to be able to leverage that. But at the same time, that that brings up a key point of uh, of a skills shortage in terms of who are the people who are going to make that journey really possible. I mean, we are seeing growing adoption of cloud native technologies, so it might seem that companies are moving forward with their cloud adoption irrespective of this shortage. But that may not present the real picture. Do you see any impact? of shortage of skills on cloud adoption where companies are either delaying their adoption or slowing down? Yeah, what's what's happening is uh, you're absolutely right. People are adopting cloud native technologies. I think that's that's a path that people realize, realize that that's the way for them to go forward. But at the same time, what's happening is, and we, we had a, re, a research uh, survey done here at Couchbase with some of the top uh, digital architects, and what they are finding is that the skills shortage is actually delaying uh, some of their digital transformation and cloud uh, transformation projects. What that means is uh, that is going to have a significant impact in terms of how the businesses are able to actually go ahead and uh, meet the requirements and the needs of their uh, customers where they are. And that's been, that's been the constant uh, struggle as a as lot of uh, companies are starting to get, um, get their, uh, their employees skilled up to uh, to to be able to understand cloud native technologies and essentially effectively use them and build them it's not really un just understanding it's to be able to build those resilient applications now using newer technologies uh, which like you mentioned help you to actually uh, take care of a lot of things uh, that previously you used to need, uh, you used to have to do it on your own, but at the same time, that brings up a different um, uh, complexity with regards to the different software packages, so, uh, software services that they'll need to now integrate uh, as they kind of build towards more of a composable architecture or a distributed cloud environment. You folks also recently conducted a study on cloud native adoption. Can you share some of the key findings, anything worrisome that you found there? Yeah, one of the things that's happening, uh, we've talked a lot about cloud native technologies and cloud adoption. Uh, what what businesses businesses and companies are also realizing is that then to be effectively able to leverage cloud technologies, they need to be able to have the best of breed technologies um, to to meet their uh, the requirements of their customers. At the same time, uh, there is no one cloud fits all. 
so there are there are there are cases where for various reasons companies might need to be on on multiple cloud providers for example or at multiple locations across diff, across uh, edge zones and in, in some of the edge regions uh, of the cloud or even um, on-prem for that matter in terms of a hybrid deployment. So having a, a, a software environment or a, or, a, or a set of software technologies that enable you to actually build and compose an application that that can meet the requirements of those uh, businesses is going to be the uh, the key for for their success there, and that's where um, a lot of um, a lot of the architects that we have talked to uh, highlight the fact that uh, moving from legacy technologies, whether it's uh, a SQL database to to using some of the modern document databases. That's one of the key enablers for, for transformation. But at the same time, that also leads to that the, the, the conversation we're talking about in terms of the skills gap. What does it actually take for people to move that um, the, their skill set over, learn some of the new cloud technologies? And this is where, again, you get into uh, the clouds there to help you. you, you there are a lot of things that uh, a SaaS offering or, a, for example, a database or service offering can provide. But at the same time, uh, you need to be able to architect and develop the application in a secure and a reliable manner on the cloud for your business um, to take advantage of it. There's one more less talked about problem that emerges from this skill shortage is impact on security, as we all know. All those security challenges, they are less about you know bugs. It's more about misconfiguration. It's almost about you no know, people's problem where the patch was not applied, uh, and you know we are also seeing emergence of new cloud native technologies on almost weekly basis. I mean we barely get to know about them. Forget about getting folks who are experts in those technologies and who can manage them in production. And these two combination, you know, can lead to some very serious security-related problems. Um, as I said, you know, most of the problems are about people missing configuration patches and things like that. So, talk about how does shortage of skill make this problem even worse? That's a great point, and that's one of the concerns that um, that people are starting to uh, to get their uh, heads around in terms of. The fact that you can you can effectively uh, start using some of these cloud te technologies, but not knowing so something is going to get you into into trouble in other areas, and we are, we are starting to see a lot more security br uh, breaches uh, lately as well, and that all kind of ties down into uh, are you building an application or are you building a service that is more secure, resilient, takes into account all of these different dimensions. And, and you pointed out, pointed it out there, but that's the key, right? The cloud simplifies a lot of different things, but at the same time, it, it also now increases the surface area because now, whereas something that used to reside on-prem in a data center can now be accessed from anywhere in the world. So that, that's, there, that's your attack vector almost uh, from a security perspective that you need to make sure that is um, that is getting addressed and then you are protected and you're protecting your business as well as your employees from and customers from those uh, kind of threats. Well, once again, the fact is that adoption is not going to slow down because of still shortage. Companies will you know, move forward, uh, even if there are some roadblocks and hurdles, they might delay, but uh, uh, cloud adoption is in their roadmaps, that's where they are heading. What suggestions or advice do you have for such companies so that they can better tackle the skill shortage problem? Right, well, I, I think one, one big thing um, that companies and businesses need to uh, need to start getting used to is the fact is they need to be cloud first, and what that means is is uh, cloud is not just an IT thing. It needs to be uh, it needs to be expanded, and everybody needs to be educated about using the cloud, whether you're a user or a developer or or an architect. Um, at the same time, um, as 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 you, as you mentioned. The technology, the adoption of technology and the pace of technology innovation is not slowing down. 
it's actually going to uh, get even more um, faster and frantic as we get into the cloud. Uh, what that means is uh, you need to, to have a continuous training or a continuous development model with your uh, employees in order to make sure that they are continually upskilled and have the necessary skill set in order to be successful to leverage new technologies, new innovations. Uh, so it's more of becoming that uh, the skills and the trainings that are being um, that are that we are talking about for for cloud uh, are really getting focused more on making sure that they are they are not just then they're not just helping you build what you need to build, but are a core differentiator of how you can innovate uh, going forward. Now, I want to quickly talk about Couchbase. What kind of solutions are there so that companies can continue on their journey? Uh, how are you making it easier for them? One of the things that our uh, we, our customers have told us, and and some of our uh, of our newer customers have been telling us, as have been great proof points on that path, is um, as they move to the cloud, uh, there are, there are a few things that they they become really uh, that that are highlighted to them in their journey. One is the fact that. Uh, everybody wants to be uh, essentially build an application that is either multi-cloud available where it needs to be. To, to build something like that not just requires expertise on, for example, one cloud provider or multiple cloud providers and across different technology. So having a partner who can actually deliver something as a software, as a service, that, that bridges that divide so that you get a single interface for your application and for your developers to actually go ahead and, and talk to the rest of the clouds or the rest of the infrastructure and you and more importantly, your database that becomes uh, a key enabler for these companies. So uh, we, um, uh, we uh, I'll go back to some of the things we have launched uh, uh, over the last year. Uh, we launched a database of service offering called Couchbase Capella, which actually it makes it easier for, uh, for customers in order to move to the cloud without having to worry about some of the uh, some of the some of the infrastructure and some of the resiliency requirements that are requ required out of database in the cloud because that's what we take care of for them. For them, it's more of a um, more of a uh, an application that they can consume uh, in order to build um, their services and applications on top of. Rahul, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about this really kind of important uh, topic that is, you know, the whole industry is going through this. Uh, thanks for sharing your insights uh, and I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thanks for, thanks, thanks for your time, Swapni. Bye.